as we said that when we are designing <coughs> or preparing these documents, we normally get what we call a guiding question. The question that we guide us and see how we can design or prepare these documents. And we have a guiding question which we set. You are operating a general merchandise business in your town. Then the first question is design a goods received in not. As we said, the heading is a must. A goods in a goods received not. For use, you can say for use in the business, or you can even mention the, the name of that business. For use in John Paul General Merchandise. And you underline. From there, you have to create your frame. And after creating a frame, you have to come up with the address. John Paul General Merchandise, PO Box, then don't forget the town. After that, as usual, don't forget the telephone. Don't forget the logo and we say another component is the name of this document put it in this table after that don't forget the order number. Assuming it is that. Don't forget the date. Don't forget the goods received not. Number. Like that. Because we said whether you are designing or preparing. You have to put the number there. Then don't forget the address of the receiving organization, address of the customer. But because we, we are designing, we just put two dash. Then after that, we continue and make a statement. Please receive the following. Draw your table. Because we are designing, we may not have a bigger table. the word total E and O E item quantity 
have description, have unit cost, in shillings, have the total cost, in shillings. Then we said, we need to have the name and signature. So, designed by, you have the signature, name, and the title. Then here, received by then you close your you close your frame so what does it mean when you come and fill here it means you have now started preparing you are filling here the name of the customer who is going to receive the goods. And you will put the date there when it comes preparing. You fill the quantity details, the types of goods, the name of the products, the amount at which these products were supplied. Then from there, you will sign as the seller's representative. Then this person will also receive on behalf of the buyer or receive as a, a buyer. So this one is a design, how this document looks like. And after looking at this document looking like this, we say we have designed it. And later on, we shall look at how we can prepare and we see all these dashes being filled. So for now, we have now understood how a good Z received note can be designed.